Hello, you welcome to Geekies, and we're back in Pinewood Hills doing a bit of work on our entrance and ticket area. Thanks very much for all the great feedback in the last episode. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to go over. I've done a little bit of work off camera. Uh, actually, we might as well leave the... Uh UI off for a second. A little bit of work off camera, but it's uh, not something I felt that was interesting enough to sort of do time lapses of, and it's all very sort of tedious stuff, so I'm going to do a little bit of a once over of, uh, of what's happened since last time we were in here. Uh, first of all, you notice the ticket gates have gone. We've actually moved those. I'll show you where in just a moment. Uh, I've actually stuck a ride down over there. That's literally to get people through here because I wanted to see uh, their sort of pathing issues and where they were going pathwise. Uh, so the actual ticket booth now is right down here. I thought there's actually there's no reason why it needs to be somewhere in the park. It can be there out of the way, and then we can make our own one's looking nice later on as well. Um, so the other thing we've done is we've actually made it left-hand drive now. I can't believe I did that in the last episode. Uh, this is going to be a British park. Uh, so uh, so we need to we drive on the left here in Britain. Uh, so I've moved everything over, changed all the uh, all the roadsides around and all the um, and everything else as well, so that we now drive on the left. I've also corrected myself here. I wrote uh, bro uh, bro coaster here, uh, but the actual park is called No Name Landia, so I've updated that now to match the uh, the rest of them. I've also had another go at the uh, the tunnel here. Um, I wasn't happy with it how it was before, so I've gone back in and did a bit more detail using um, window pieces to make an actual nice curve now, and we've also got. Some some, uh, if I just unpause here, you'll see uh, we've got some air vents here as well. Uh, I completely robbed this from, I think it was Stokies, who's a member of our uh, Discord community. I would do the, the uh, Geekism community in general, but he, he, I'm sure, pretty sure it was Stokies who posted that on Discord. And I said, yep, yeah, I'm robbing that. So now we've got some uh, air vents in there as well. I think that'll turn out really nicely and, uh, you know, a little bit more effort, but I think it works. Car park wise, I've done a bit more work on the car parks now then. The main car park itself, I realise this is actually quite a small two areas here. So our main car park is going to be right over here. So this first car park we've now got coming into uh, is going to be for uh, disabled spaces and also parents and child spaces. So we've got those set up there. I feel like the ratio is about right for a small park like this. You know, a lot of people are going to be bringing push chairs and stuff like that. So obviously this is a small park. We don't need a massive amount of parking. And then we move our way over here. And this here will eventually be our large sort of main car park area, maybe some coach parking as well. Um, here we've got a uh, another area. This is pretty much purely... Uh, for, for visuals here, but I can't imagine anyone's actually going to end up over here, but we've got our main entrance area. Here, this area here will eventually be a couple of bus stops, uh, public bus stops here, uh, or, or a, a public bus stop at least, or maybe even over there we might do a public bus stop, and this could be some sort of internal coach system. I'm not sure yet, but this larger area here is going to be some sort of bus station uh, or coach station. And then this side now has become a, uh, a staff parking uh, for something we're going to be working on later on as well. We've also done a box junction here as well. I'm not sure if these exist outside the UK, but this is a start type of junction in the UK. It means you can't drive into unless it's uh, unless it's empty. Uh, but here, uh, you'll notice we've got park and camping, and this sign is a little bit more rustic. And what's going to happen uh, is we're going to have a, I think I mentioned it in the last episode, we're going to have a huge campsite at the back here uh, that this road leads up to. Uh, so all of this area here is going to be the theme park, over here is going to be camping and the camping is going to be styled a little bit more rustically. It's going to give us a nice opportunity to create some different style buildings and uh, we might even go like uh, and do one of those sort of like fake, uh, fake sort of Native American style thing that you see a lot of time in campsites and do like a totem pole and stuff like that. Uh, so we've got staff parking which will be this area here. Still need to work on this. The back of this area will open up to a large building here uh, that's going to be sort of HR. We're going to have like a HR building, payroll building, that sort of stuff. So, uh, And we might stick a couple of bits in there to make some of the staff work their way along here. We're going to have a small backstage area here and a larger backstage area here that both feed into uh, the separate areas of the park. Okay, so quite a bit done, but like I say, for the most part, it's just infrastructure. It wasn't particularly interesting to watch build, um, but uh, hopefully today what we are going to build will be. We're going to build a ticket booth, a uh, ticket building, so where you actually purchase your tickets to then go and get through the turnstiles here that we will build at a later date as well, put some turnstiles in. We might even do them in this video. So we're going to have ticket buildings either side. Um, we'll probably put info kiosks in them, uh, but they I doubt they'll actually be used. They might be used. We'll put some info kiosks in them and some um, sort of queue lines anyway and things like that and then that'll sort of cap off this area with a bit of greenery uh, either side of them as well um, so that's what the planet is today so let's jump in to a time lapse and uh, we'll see how we get on
Okay, so there we go. There is our ticket booth uh, on the one side. We've also got it on the other side as well. So the kind of theme I was going for here, the sort of style was... Um, these will have been built a lot later than these. This, the original park, I'm, I'm planning to, for it to start around sort of 1930s, 1940s, uh, which is when this will have been built. These will have been added in uh, much later, maybe sort of like 50s, 60s, uh, to help with, uh, with basically with demand. Because originally, you'd have come up to these counters here, got your ticket and gone through. Uh, but now... You know, with uh, with the, the increase in, in in people as the as the park progresses and stuff like that, uh, they would need separately. So these are kind of throw up buildings, and the idea is that they kind of try to try to build them in the style of the original building, but uh, but they try to do it a little bit cheaper and also with a slightly later. Uh, aesthetic in in mind or you know so so even though you know rather than the nice wooden beams here we've got concrete struts you know but we've we've been able to carry on the uh, the wood and uh, and a few of the bits and bobs as well and uh, but then we've got these sort of like relatively garish signs here tibelay's tickets um and they've sort of you know they you can tell that they've tried to keep the aesthetic of this going but they've kind of struggled due to either budget or uh, or just sort of like theme and design constraints so uh, so there you go there's our two ticket things um the only other thing i wanted to do in this episode was to try and start making uh, a turnstile of sorts although i don't think we're going to be able to get the whole thing done um, but I do want to try and do uh, the beginnings of what will be a turnstile. So um, I'm just going to quickly get a, uh, a building here, a little column going to get a building started. Okay, great. Uh, so we're going to start building these out with uh, scenery. I'm going to put our little uh, Robin Hood animatronic down so we get a little bit of an idea of scale. Thank you, pal. You can stay there. And then we'll get into our art shapes with hard edges. I'm thinking. It's probably going to be built. From, I think that's probably a little bit too big. Yeah, so, so let's do something that's built from here. And uh, what we'll do is we'll build it up around this shape here, so that we can we can be a little bit closer to a size that we would like. I think that's probably good. We'll drag that into the middle just because we'll know, won't we? We'll know that it's not quite spot on. Uh, do that, and then we'll uh, duplicate those up as well to get the height right. Height needs to be round about waist height, so I'd say there. Okay, cool. And so we'll knock these down to a more suitable colour. All right. Uh, and then we need something that will take the ticket in. What have we got that is like a little little piece once again we are looking for a little piece um just like so oh, that could do it yeah if we add you as a sort of there's a, we need a piece for where the ticket comes in and a piece where it comes out again so that can be the coming out again this is usually what happens the ticket goes in in front of you and then gets sort of spat out uh, spat out the top here So we'll get that as much as we can. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And then um, we might be able to use that here as well. Yeah. Uh, kind of works, doesn't it? We could do with a really small light there as well. That would be quite neat. Um, you know what we've got we can use there is a really small really small light can we get it so that just one of these is sticking out yeah we can okay so let's get it so that just one of those is sticking out and knock you down a little okay showing that little bit showing there but i don't mind that uh, now for the beams themselves uh i'm guessing it's going to have to be snowman pipes <laughs> because these things i swear to god these things save the day so many times they're going to be the right kind of size length and, uh, and pretty much everything just spot on so drag you around see so it in the right sort of spot this is going to be about there there we go Okay, that's good. And then we need to uh, rotate and 
No, oh, that's the same one we're moving. Let's just not do that. Uh, there we go. Let's bring you out that way. Yeah, and then one more in the middle of those. Like that. Uh, and it's a case of taking each of these and tearing them to where we want them to be one at a time. So we'll just do that there. That's that one. And then here, you need to go down a little. As do you. One more there. And then that gives us our turn style and I think these need to come out another another click I think there we go yeah that is better there we go that's our turn style and then here we'll take a couple of you uh, across no just two actually no not you though and then for some reason it's all the way over there and then we'll add you to the other side of it to act as the uh as the sort of the other side of the barrier so that you have to get through there um to get in okay cool yeah pretty happy with that that took that was a bit quicker than i thought it was going to be to be honest i'm quite happy with how that's turned out though um any suggestions on on what we can do with that maybe to tighten it up just a little bit um add a few bits i don't know but for now what we'll start doing is bringing those to here um and they're going to sit right about the middle here and then each of these will have uh, a turn start although actually what we could do actually yeah this would make more sense is we'll have two turn styles on each one so they'll sit like that Okay, that's a firework going off, by the way. But um, once they're once they're down, that doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> um, what have we got there? We've got a bit of uh, we've got a bit of a bit of pillar inside there. That we need to get rid of. There it is. And you right down again. There we go. Whoops. And then all we need to do here is turn all three of you around hopefully you'll fit quite nicely on the axes looks like you will and then bring you over to this side there we go drop you down i i really hope that you're in, uh, uh, liking the mix of sort of time lapse and then a little bit of real time as well and uh, and all that sort of stuff hopefully it's a it's a nice mix for you it's not it's a little bit different from the old series like i say in the last last series we kind of just sort of played it as we went but I'm really hoping that uh, that you're appreciating the slightly slightly slower pace I guess of this because it, it needs a slightly slower pace because I'm really having to think a lot more it isn't that we can sort of do uh, you know we're doing pirates so I can just click on all the pirate pieces you know uh, so I want you and I'm not sure on the color here I'll, I'll put this one you can be green I don't actually think I'm changing the right one there. It doesn't look like I am, does it? Okay. It must be you then. So we'll knock you up into green. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we'll make you a nice green. So this one's just let somebody in. Uh, but here on this side, uh, denied for some reason. I don't know why. There we go. Now we'll click. Uh, I feel like this needs something here, but I'm not too sure what it could be. What can we put on there? Just a little bit of detail. Um, maybe some sort of uh, a wire running up or something. Yeah, that could. Uh, if we could colour these snowman pipes, oh man, that would be so useful. I mean, they're already one of the most useful parts of the game. <laughs> um, but yeah, if we could colour them in as well. Uh, let's have a a wire running up uh, to that 
there. Good. Don't really particularly know what it does. I uh, feel like it should probably be on the back actually. Yeah, let's move it around to the back. So we still need maybe something on the front there. Little tiny billboards would be good. <laughs> we could do just a little billboard that said that we could just put a bit of text that you know makes it look like it says you know insert the ticket this way. If there are any problems, call a member of staff. You know that kind of stuff. Or we probably you know there probably would be staff here helping out anyway. So, uh, but yeah, I feel like you need you need one of these, and we'll put one here as well, but lower down like that. And there's your there's your power basically okay so now they're powered yeah just like a little like a little blue sign there you know like a little uh, warning you know uh, please do as you're told type thing you know the sort of sign I mean just like a bit of a customer information type job eh? and then we'll bring you around there as well okay so tickets and turnstiles are done uh, we'll just quickly copy them over Fireworks will start to go off again, but that's okay. We can manage. Uh, this is a little bit of work here to sort of tie and get rid of these little grassy areas. These just would not be grassy areas at all, so we'll have to do something there. Um, and obviously, obviously, you know, peeps are going to walk straight through these, but unfortunately, when you're doing little sort of, you know, un ungamified detail like this it, those sort of things are going to happen unfortunately so we just kind of have to deal with the fact that they're going to walk through occasionally and um, personally I'm okay with it personally I, it doesn't fuss me too much at all I'll drop you there there we go and our turnstiles are in awesome great stuff right uh, we'll leave it there like I say in the next episode we'll uh, we'll tidy all this up I'll do a little bit more work around here off camera probably uh, in the next episode we're going to start on this side of the ticket uh, counter we'll actually start building the theme park which would be good wouldn't it oh this thing's broke look it has been for a while never mind <laughs> people aren't using it literally there just to see how the pathing works and you know they kind of follow it you know they, with those box planters they do work so they kind of, yeah, they, occasionally they get a bit goose, but it, you know, it's it's fine. It's something we can manage. I mean, the only thing we could do otherwise is just is get rid of the actual ticket booths and, and just make it look uh, decorative instead. But I quite like the fact that we've got um, uh, something that the the, 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 uh, the peeps can go and uh, check out. Right, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, pop them down in the comments. And if you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at Johnny Sparrow. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.